Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. I'm so excited to be here in the It's Fall Y'all event by Crafty Peep. You guys, if you're hearing this portion, that means you're probably watching the replay. So put hashtag replay so I can say hi to you. Glad that you're here. We're going to do a little fall painting and glass art today. I'm actually not going to waste any time because I do want to get done with this um, in one hour. And we're doing a lot. So come on in. Let me know that you're here. But I'm going to kind of get started while we say hi. So come on in, guys. Can you hear me and see me okay? I did turn my camera around today. Usually I have it down on my desk so that you can see this better. But I think we're going to be just fine today. Let me know if it's your first time watching, too. When I'm in an event, sometimes I meet new people. I'm so glad that you're here. And again, my name is Deb. I live in South Fort Worth. Glad that you're here. Hey, Christy. Hi, Tammy. Guess what I got? I'm, I'm going to try to cover addresses here, but I got something from Tammy today, Crafty Peep. I'm going to open it really fast, but I wanted to be sure that y'all are on before I do so you can see what it is. I have, I know it's going to be an ATC card, or at least I think so, but probably there's, feels like there's something else or maybe a note. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Michelle. Glad y'all are coming in. Thank you for being here. I know there's a lot going on today. Not only craft events, but football and all kind of things. So thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it and appreciate you sprinkling. So yes, yes. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Charlene. Hi, Vicki. Thank you for sprinkling. I inspired you. I'm so excited. Listen, I am just loving doing the ATCs. So if you have not gotten on the bandwagon yet, you got to do it. Um, it's just really fun. You guys who have done it can let everybody know that, oh my goodness, that really didn't. I use, oh, I see what I did. I used this on something I shouldn't have, and I got a little chunk stuck up in there, so I may have to get that out before this works. I don't know. I didn't get it out, but we're going to try it again. Okay. Oh, I'm happy to see you guys. Thank you, Lori. Hi, Linda. Thank you. Thank you for sprinkling, Melissa. Hi, Betty. That's okay. I do the same thing. Sometimes I have not been able to write a note because I'm like, oh my gosh, I saw the lady come down our street. So I know she has to go down the circle and I turn around and I have to hurry. So sometimes, yes, that's okay. I've rushed it out there as well. Okay. It's so pink. I love it. This makes me want to change my project. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here's an ATC. She used a playing card, made a little tag with a cute little, you know, tassel thing and a little pocket and buttons. That's precious, Timmy. And this, I think it, you said was your second one. So you did fantastic. I have a ton of tutorials. If you guys are like, ooh, I'd like to make one, just you can go see any of my tutorials. Timmy, I will mail you one back. And you guys, I've said all along, you can let me know if there's one that you want. Just tell me on the envelope or in a note, and I'll try to be sure you get that one. Okay, so this is a 6 by 12 wood canvas. I love using these because it's got the sides to it. It's like a box or a tray, so you could use it that way too. But it is technically called a canvas, and um, I have already prepped it with our deco art multi-purpose sealer and i know when you hear sealer if you're not familiar with this you may think sealer is for the top coat and typically yes but this is a sealer that they specifically made to work well with acrylic paints and it is for the base so if you're painting on metal or wood or anything you know that needs a base this is a fantastic product. So um, I put one coat going one way. I let it completely dry. And then I put another coat going the other way. Excuse me. And I do let it dry in between. Good to see you too, Cynthia. Hi, Sarah. The, rust must, the Rustic Mustard Seed. Hi, Sydney. Sydney's our birthday girl. She just had a birthday. So you guys that didn't get to tell her, you can tell her happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. So we're just getting this on. I'm doing a fall painting and then we're going to add glass and resin. So that's why I'm like trying to get to it and not waste any time. Hi, 
Phyllis. I'm so glad y'all are coming in. Caroline is watching from Illinois. Hello. I'm glad you're here. I always ask that you hit the follow button if you're new. And then if you don't like it, don't like what I do, you can always unfollow. It's really easy to unfollow, but sometimes it's hard to find people again. Or if you want to see the other things I do, because I do a lot of mixed media and paper crafting on my page here. And then in my private group is where I do the majority of my painting and glass art. But there's plenty of tutorials, guys. Lots of things that I've put on here. Hey, Cecile. Hadn't seen you in a little bit. Glad you guys are coming in. I promise I'll answer every comment and question. Just give me a little time because I don't have a comment reader. Um, even if I had one, I wouldn't have one today because the A&M game's on. And that takes priority over just about everything around here. So, okay. I do want to add a little white. Thank you, Michelle. Appreciate you. Hope that you're feeling better, girl. Keeping lots of people in my prayers because there are lots of things going on. Lots of hurting people. Lots of sick people. And, and we need it, you know. I try to really try to encourage community and prayer praying for each other and just being a sisterhood i know there may be some men watching hello i just mean that's where my heart is you know is to kind of i want to see all women just support each other um love each other overlook the faults that we all have because we all have them there is none of us who are perfect none so, um, anyway, that's what I'm about here on my page. And I hope you'll stick around if you're new. So I just kind of wanted to add in a little more white. I don't know if y'all can tell. Let me dry this real quick. I am live. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Anna. Glad you're here. Yes, prayers for all in need. That's for sure. Daughters at the game on the Auburn side. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know what to say about that, but love will make you do crazy things. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I am, I am completely understand. I always tease my daughter that she's going to marry an Austin guy because, you know, there's a big rivalry between Austin and A&M. And so, hi Donna, glad you're here. Hope you're feeling a little better today. Sherry, did I say hi to you? If I didn't, hello. Glad you're here. Yes, that's right, Lisa. It's exactly right. Lisa hit it right on the head. Even, you know, some people will think that I'm always happy. I'm not always happy. I, have, I live with chronic back pain, and it is horrible. Really, really bad. And, um, you know, I'm not always happy, but I, I do know that I always have so much to be grateful for and so much to be thankful for um, with you guys. And I always want to be here. You know, I want to be here with you guys. And I can't go live every day. My back won't let me. But, oh, that's funny, Tammy. Oh, that's okay, you guys. I love that you can multitask and, and do all the things. What is the weather like where y'all are? It is really hot here today. It's sunny and hot. And, oh, Sue, you don't have to thank me. Thank you, Cecile. I'm excited to do this resin with y'all because I really love it. But if you don't love it or don't want to do it, you know, you can check out. But I hope you don't because it's still fun to watch usually. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Um, take a sip. I think I'm going to do my little, my little chapel here. Oh, I know y'all were going to laugh at this, but this is my little, I drew out a chapel and I don't know, it's over here somewhere on a piece of paper. And what I always like to, if I can take a second to show you kind of a technique. So I wanted to get half of the paper. So I folded it in half and then folded it again. That will help you if you're trying to draw something to kind of get things lined up and straight and you know once I folded it again then I knew how far to bring this so this is my little sketch but then I 
ended up widening it because I changed and decided to use this base. So I didn't have time to redo the whole thing. So I just kind of cut this out and here we go. So you're probably wondering, why is this all colorful? Oh, it's 58 and rainy. Charlene, that is the perfect day to stay inside and just keep, like you said, keep us on. You'll have lots of people to watch. I always recommend get into the group. You know, it's all you have to do is search CCC. It's Crafty Creators Community. But if that's hard for you to remember like it is me, I don't have to remember. I just type in CCC. It pops up. But that way you don't have to worry about who's next. Where do I go? You know, how do you how do they spell their page name? You know, you don't have to worry. You can just refresh and you'll see the next person after me. I'll tell you though, it is crafting on a budget. That is who's next. Okay, so we have our little chapel kind of, you know, down. Move that out of my way. You ladies that are in the VIP group, I know you're wondering about Tracer. You know you'll get it. So let's get out some white. Actually, I want to do my ground first. Let me do my ground and trees. That's what I want to do. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to do because this will end up helping my design a little bit. 61, Michelle, that's awesome. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'd be in a coat. I would be freezing. But it sounds so good because we're so tired of the 100 degrees. We're just over it. So I'm going to put a little bit of this painter's tape right here. And this will help me to go faster as I paint because I won't have to worry about, you know, going over the lines and whatnot. So that's why I'm going to do this real quick. Just line it up. If you want to do this design, this will help. Just a little trick. It's cool here today in Tennessee. Uh, like what temp, Lisa? Are you doing any more craft fairs, by the way? I keep forgetting to ask you. Thank you, Betty, for sprinkling. Oh, I know everybody probably needs the rain. We were so dry and we finally got rain and it was such a blessing because you do, we start, you know, everybody starts having the fires when you don't have enough rain. Okay, so that will allow me to go faster. I'm just pressing it down right on the line. Now I can go to town. Oh, good. Next month. Awesome. I like doing craft fairs. I just can't anymore with my bad back. I just can't sit there all day in a hard chair. Can't hardly, about one hour is, and I'm dying. Like, really miserable. Okay, we're getting out some fall colors. Use whatever you have. I think that's probably good for now. And let me get out a little white. Get that brush back. Ooh, 87. Now, I like 87. See, my husband would probably still say it's too hot, but no, I like 87. I mean, I can handle 100, so 87 is fine. I'm just going into my brown and then grabbing a little bit of this cinnamon color. And we're going to do a little ground just come along the base of this and might even go up a little bit like so hopefully that's somewhat even and then this time I'm grabbing a little more of the copper if you if you keep going over and over it's gonna blend and make it one color but if I can keep from doing that and just make a pass or two and then let it sit then you'll see kind of some variation in the colors but there's lots of ways so you can you can get your base down and then go back and put other colors on top of it um, it's hard when I'm upside down I can't really tell what I'm doing very well 87 is too hot <laughs> I actually I would probably say that's close to perfect for me. I mean, I really do like warm weather. Warm and sunny makes me happy. 
but nobody in my family likes hot. So we usually go somewhere cool when we go on vacation. Idaho is 68 with, ooh, that's nice, Shanna. Or Shana, will you tell me? Because I, I never know if it's Shana or it's probably Shana. I think I've heard you say Shana. Sorry. I I just do that on a live sometimes. I just kind of go blank and say the wrong thing. Y'all have grace. Okay. I'm really trying to hurry. So just kind of a dirty look is all we need. I'm going to do a little tree. I oh don't want to get this on my bracelets. Ooh, guys, you guys a lot of times will ask me about the bracelets that I'm wearing, and I'm so excited to be a new affiliate for them. I love them. You can go back as far as you want to, and you'll see me wearing them on all my lives because I wear them every day. They just go on just like my watch or anything else. And um, their little word project is the brand. 62. Oh, it's, are you saying it's Shanna? Was I right the first time? Or maybe I said Shana the first, I don't know. So do the phonetic, phonetic, phonetic things so that I know. Anyway, um, I'm just really happy because I love these bracelets. I think it's so good to have the written word around you, like Bible verses up around you or something that means something to you. Um, and so anyway, excited. I'm going to pop this in here. It's not the complete sentence. I don't know what happened. Back issues. Oh, I know. Back issues are just awful. But there's the little link. I'll, I won't pin it because probably not a lot of you are wondering, but I do get questions almost every live. Somebody will message me and ask me. And I love sharing it because I do think it's really fun to have, you know, things that are personal that we can wear. Okay. For our trees, we're just doing, you know, little marks with our brush. I am turning it every time I put it down. I want some to come on the side and some to kind of cross over right here because this will make it look like it's going behind the little church, okay? So something like this. It's definitely hard for me to tell how it's looking, <laughs> looking down at it, but. Oh, Kimberly, I know. Um, and I haven't seen Carrie on here. She's another one in the VIP group that has gotten on board with them. And she's got a daughter and a son. And I know that she ordered the pilot, you know, my pilot and my princess is what she calls them because he's a pilot. And she's just, you know, how girls are so special to us in their own way. So she ordered those. And I just think it's so fun. It just, it's just a visual reminder to pray or, you know, conversation piece, or I don't know. I just like them. So I have um, hold, please. I have faith, believe. I have my kids' birthdays. I have create. I think I have seven total, so I don't even know what all I named. I just am adding that light brown on here as well. I'm going to get out a little bit. Hi, Christine. Hi, Nora. My little niece is named Nora. Thank you, Monica. Hi, Mary Jo. Glad you made it. Glad you guys are here. And it's going to be a great day. We'll have to, you know, if you can't, if you're running errands or doing all the things, at least pop in when you're standing in line or, you know, when you have a second, because there's going to be a lot of ideas and inspiration. That's what I love about events is that you usually walk away thinking, oh, I'm going to do that or, you know, having a couple of projects lined up that you might want to try. Now, if you are not into painting or you don't want to do anything this large, just do a little ATC card. Paint the same little type thing on an ATC card or something. But you see 
I like to show y'all step by step so you see how easy. So all we did is some brown down here. We taped off our chapel. We're just dotting down our little brush in some fall colors. Pull what you have. You don't have to have the same ones as me. So whatever you have on hand, you can use. I actually think I'm going to add a different color or a new color. Add this to the mix. Charlene, you hit it on the head. This is what I ask for. Like, Well, actually, I don't even ask anymore. But I'd say almost every single birthday and every single Christmas I get one or two. Um, you know, sometimes they're not this brand. They're, they're like, just like a gold beaded one to go with it or something. But my family knows that I can't get enough. I love them. So if I get too many, then I'm just going to trade out, you know, and wear someone that you can, you can even design your own and you can, um, you know, put any word, of course, but I love them. Okay. Adding that kind of burgundy color to these trees. So there we go. So just simple, simple trees. Now, thank you, Patty. How are you today? Oh, thank you, Sherry. You're so sweet. I appreciate you doing that. Okay, let's add a little bit more to our ground because I can tell it's almost dry. We're going to need this dry. Somebody kind of keep me going on time so you guys can, it's 120. That's not terrible. But, you know, I'll just kind of come in here and add some strips, swipes of the brush. Let your brush do it. You don't have to worry. This is a very simple painting. I like to do things that I know will not be hard for y'all so that you'll enjoy painting. You know, I don't want to come on here and show off and try. Well, not that I'm good anyway. No, I'm not saying that I could do anything amazing. I'm just saying my goal is to get you to try things. That's what I'm all about. I want you to try it because you might love it. You might teach it to your kids or grandkids and they might love it. And, um, and that's what I'm about. I want to get people doing things, creative things, because it is such a stress reducer. Okay. I like my ground. Thank you, Charlene. I have till two. Yes. Yes, Lisa, I know I love fall colors. I like them for everything. I like them for clothes, painting, whatever. Okay, we're going to drop down a few little leaves on the ground. So let me just take those colors I just used and just pop down a few. Now see how I'm just, just tap it down. That's it. Just tap it down. Um, don't overthink it. This is just a small detail brush that I've got here. Just kind of giving the illusion is all we're doing of a few little leaves. Uh, doesn't need to look like a leaf, doesn't need to be shaped like a leaf, just the illusion is all that we need. Oh, thank you, Nora. Hi, Inga, that's okay. You know how what I say, better late than never, glad you're here. Okay, so now that we've got all of this, we can take our tape off. This is tape from Timu. So uh, I wanted to see how it compared, you know, because it was really cheap. I got two rolls and I don't remember the price now, but I remember thinking, well, that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So um, it, it works just as good as any other that I've used. So, okay, now I'll see that we're going to have to cover that little place that's not straight, but that's okay. Let's grab a flat brush. I'm going to come back to this palette. I'm very messy when I paint, so if you didn't know, grabbing this white, it's got a little brown in it. That won't hurt anything, but I'm going to grab a little black, and we're not going to put much. It doesn't take a lot to overtake your white. We're just going to dip a little in here, just mixing with the brush to get that gray. 
your acrylic paint will dry just a little bit darker. So I'm good with this color and I'm going to just come across. And as long as that brown is dry right there, I can go right over it without a problem. If it was wet, it would smear. But that little piece of it was dry. And just cover that up. So don't say you can't do this. Look how easy. You're just following the lines down. It does not have to be perfect. You'll, you'll see that most of what I do is very imperfect. And I... Well, I actually don't mind it one bit. I am a whimsical painter, so it, I paint for fun, not for, it's not fine art. But painting is so stress reducing. So I really want you to try it if you haven't. I love seeing the little hearts going up. Hi, Jerry. Thank you, Monica. Hey, Carol, how are you today? Glad you're here. I really do. I'm so appreciative when other business owners pop on because I know how busy everybody is. I am not good at getting on and watching lives, and I apologize. So I'm extra grateful <laughs> when you guys do because I know... I don't even know how everybody does what they do because I just can't. I can't get it all done. So thank y'all. I'm going to have to do a little more. Hi, Angela. How are you today? I like to multitask so while I'm looking down or while I'm mixing, I can look. Oh, Roxanne can't hear. Darn it. That's okay. On the replay, I believe there's always uh, captions. So maybe that will help. Yes. Thank you, Jerry. That's, I love hearing that. I used to feel like, I, oh, am I boring? You know, everybody's so relaxed. They're bored. Um, but I'm glad because sometimes in my mind, it's so chaotic. Like I'm, feel like I'm going 90 to nothing in my head because I want to get all this done and have time to resin. Um, so if, if this still feels relaxing to you, I'm so glad because <laughs> inside I'm like, hurry, hurry, go faster. But just slapping this paint on you guys doesn't get easier than this, right? Just filling in your little tracer. In my private group, they get a tracer for everything I do. So we we have a, a lesson every Tuesday. And then if I go live on my page whenever, or if I go live in a group, or if I go live for somebody's private group, they get a tracer for all of it, everything I do. And that is helpful because it, it just takes all the hassle of trying to draw out of it. And you can just, okay. Now we got our little background on our church. I know, me too. I can't do enough. I like to do them every season and usually give them away or sometimes sell them. I need to do a lot better on selling for sure. You're going to have to see me really working hard on selling soon. Um, I just keep putting it off, putting it off. Okay. I've just got, I didn't really, I just wiped my brush off a little bit on my napkin and then dipped right into my white. So if there's a little gray on here, it's not going to hurt anything. In fact, I like that. So now we're going to take our brush and just come up with that white. So I wish you could see my palette. Let me move it to where you can, hopefully. So just kind of work that in and then come right up next to it and go up. Okay, it's not going to be perfectly straight, but it's not supposed to be. This is a whimsical little chapel in the woods. Doesn't need to be perfect. It would be better if I had let my gray dry or use my heat gun, but I'm in such a hurry. I'm just like 
trying to get it done. So I'm going right on top. Hi, Angie. Glad you're here. I know I'm missing some comments and I apologize. And if you're new, I'm so sorry that I haven't said hi to you, but I guarantee you somebody will. One of these ladies that are in the VIP surely will or just some sweet person. So if I'm not seeing you say hi, I'm new or anything, I apologize. I know everybody else understands, but I just really hate when there's somebody new and I don't get to greet them in real time. But glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll come back. All the things. Hi, Karma. No, I don't, Stephanie. Um, I, I, if you look at all my old tutorials, I do, or I did. I just started one day because somebody said something about, um, are you left-handed? And I said, no, I'm right-handed. And it dawned on me that, that she was probably trying to do what I did, but it, it was backwards for her, you know, because I was painting like this and then I would just show it. And um, so I started painting like this. Just one day, I just held it up and started trying to do it this way. And from that day on, I did it upside down. Until pretty recently, the last couple of months, um, I, I don't have the newest iPhone. I have an older iPhone. And it doesn't have a very good camera. So I was looking at a replay going, man, this just doesn't look good. So, because it's kind of far away and everything. So I started putting my camera down straight on my desk and just painting this way with the camera down. So the recent tutorials will be that way. You won't see me. Um, but sometimes, especially if I'm in an event or something, and I know there'll be new people that don't know me, I like to kind of show my face because if all you see is the desk, you're like, is there, who is this person? You know, it's just kind of weird to not know who is teaching you or whatever. So I like to every now and then surprise y'all and put on makeup and show my face. Okay, so there we go with our white. Let me hold that up so you can see. Just kind of our little planks, I guess, if you would. I'm going to do it again. Let me dry it. That's what I need to do. Stop and dry. Ugh. Ugh. I think we can do it. We're going to do it. I may just not have as much detail as I wish. Angie, you're so cute. Thank you. You're so sweet. Hi, Denise. Hi, Susie. Thank you guys for saying hi to everybody. I have the sweetest VIP group. Um, and if you're new to me, I call it VIP not because they are important, but it's not because I, I don't use it as very important people because you're all important, whether you're in my group or not. Um, God created you. You're special. You're amazing. But I, it's for very inspiring because they are the people who just make me want to get up every day and do more and do different and come up with new things. And so that's where the name is and where it came from but they're the sweetest group of ladies you'll ever meet excuse me guys i know my nose is running um and when i have guests that come in there they'll tell me they'll message me and say gosh your ladies are so nice and i'm like i know i tell them they will follow you so when you are a guest in my group my ladies will go follow you and and probably be lifelong watchers too you know they're just sweet people and that's why I say I'm grateful every day, every day for this, for what I get to do and the people that I get to surround myself with. I'm too old for drama, too old for ugliness. So I have kind of created this little cocoon 
And on our page here, we just don't put up with the ugliness. We don't put up with. So hopefully when you're here, you are feeling love and feeling kindness. That is our goal. We're all still human, but we work on it, don't we? I'm just going over to give a little more white, kind of in a dry brush way, so my brush doesn't have water on it. I'm just putting that paint on and kind of scraping it. If you were here, I don't think you can hear it probably, but if you, you know, it just kind of, you'll hear it kind of scrape. That's right, Angie. And I, it surprises me how many women my age can be so mean or unkind or leaving people out or, you know, not supporting certain people. I just can't. I don't get it. I think life is so hard. I think women still have it a little hard. I mean, we've come a long way, but good grief. Like, I just can't. Mm, I'd rather be, like, alone than deal with all that. So, okay. Now, quickly, we're going to come back now that our ground is dry. We're going to let this dry. We're not doing anything right now to that, so we, we're going to let that dry. I'm going to put out a few more of these fall colors. That's right, Leanne. Like-minded people have to kind of stick together and, and protect each other, you know. I'm taking that brown. I'm taking a little of the lighter brown, and we're just going to... Oh, one thing I do like to do, because I am not good at eyeballing it, is I did make a little door. So I'm just going to kind of see. Hopefully that's about half. Does that look about center? I just kind of line that up with the top. I don't really worry about a ruler. But now I'm going to kind of, I know that that's where my door is going to be. So take that paint on here and just go, just kind of swipe. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to be the little walkway. So it wouldn't be perfect, right? You can come in with your other colors and add a few. Just want to kind of make it stand out from the ground a little bit. Now, a lot of you will paint this, but you won't do the glass art. So let me quickly take my round brush and grab and do these would serve as your rocks. You know how there might be some little rocks kind of lining the walkway. We're talking, it's not, it's just ground. These sweet little country people are just going to church, walking up there, getting their shoes dirty. They don't care. Okay. Something like that. It does feel like family a hundred percent. Now, that being said, we do have people in our group that are quiet. They don't talk. They don't, you know, join in all the chit chat that we others do. And that is 100% fine because I'm in a group where I don't chit chat at all. So, you know, the way I've described it is it's a cafeteria. You come in and take what you need. If you want dessert, take dessert. If you don't want Anything except a roll, you take the roll. You know, think of it like a cafeteria and take what you need. Because we're all different, different time. You know, some people have a lot of time. Some people have hardly any time. And there's no wrong way to do a group, I don't think. Okay, let's do a little, let's do the door and the bushes and all that really quick. I'm going to show you how I do a Simple little bush. Get out a little plantation pine. It's a good fall color. And put a little bush. Do I want it covering the church right here? I think I do. Yeah. Kind of like that. Just a little bush. You'll obviously have to put more paint when this dries, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. 
Oh, Nelda, love that. I mean, really, it's true. You know, because we all have things, you know, you all have things where maybe you can't put it on Facebook or you don't want to tell your sister-in-law or you don't want to tell your husband. Maybe your husband doesn't even understand, you know, but I love that we do have that sweet support in that group. Okay. Let me get back here and grab a pencil and my little door. It would, Christy, for sure. And kind of go around this so that I have a nice pretty door for y'all to see and not some wonky you know and then I made a little window there's my little chapel window cut it out of the back of some piece of something and but this way it'll be neat instead of I can't do things well if I'm rushing and so I like using some, a little template so that everything's pretty neat. doesn't have to be perfect, so I am eyeballing it. I'm not measuring or anything. How are we doing on time? Okay, i got to really hurry. I do have to hurry. And then I cut out a round window out of some old was watercolor. At some, oh, you know what? I had done, I had taken this and I know what I had done. Come up like so. Okay, and then put it right there. You guys have seen every, everybody who's an artist has probably done a chapel. So you can change it however you want to, you know, like, um, I don't see my eraser. Come on, come on. We are pressed for time, people. Okay. Okay. Quickly, quickly. Flat brush. Let me use this one. I do too, Linda Sue. Doesn't it make you just think of a... Uh, the good old days and grandparents, maybe great grandparents, depending on how old you are. Thank y'all for the stars. Oh, yes, Carol, you should do this one. Um, now, you, oh, I don't, I didn't even mean to do yellow there. That's how rushed I'm feeling, you guys. Hold, please. That's another bracelet I have. I don't know if I said that one. Hold, please. Windows. Just take your flat brush or a filbert would work great for this. I'm really not doing this as neat as I want to. This is antique gold. I like this color for things like this. It has great coverage. If you use like a yellow, you're going to have to put white with it um, because it's so opaque. This color is not opaque and it's a perfect fall color. So I use this a lot. I do, Jerry. Good. <laughs> I got some others saying it too. I say it and don't even realize I'm saying it. Okay. Quickly. Let's go do our door. Okay. Couple of minutes. Many. <laughs> well, I have more practice. I mean, I do this almost every, you know, I paint almost every day. I really dislike the days where I have to do computer work. I just feel like I'm getting ripped off. But it's just part of owning a business. You do have to do a lot of paperwork and not paperwork, but you know what I mean, computer work. And of course, 
I do sell on Etsy, so I I do stuff with that. But Etsy is um, not getting the attention it needs, that's for sure. I just, it's like I'm lucky if I have time to throw something in there. Lately, all I've been listing is my ATC kits. So if you want to make an ATC and you don't want to go out and buy, you know, like a ton of supplies, you can order a kit and it's got everything you need to make. You guys have ordered one can let me know, but I can probably make six ATCs out of one kit and maybe more. Um, so that's what I've been listing lately. I'm going to take a little black and kind of come in here and do this with it. Just streak it in there. I would normally go to a smaller brush to do that, but we don't have time for that. And then just blend those together a little bit. For the door handle, I'm using that flat brush with some black and popping it down on both sides. Something like that. <sighs> I'm going to have to stop in five minutes. So, pink pumpkin, pink pumpkin. Oh, that's a new one. We're doing that Tuesday in my private group. Now they know what I'm doing. I don't always tell them. I usually just show up and do something. And, and they show up and watch. Okay. Taking my fine um, liner brush and we're going to just try to go right down the center of the door. We're also going to go around the door frame. Okay. Um, same with the windows, but I think what I'm going to do is grab the one that I practiced on and just do that so that I don't run out of time. So all we would have to do on this really is to put our cross, take the black, like see this, you know, what I was doing with the door and I was going around. Um, let me just kind of show you. So I would line everything with this, or you can use a paint marker. I'm going to mess up because I'm hurrying. Um, like an acrylic paint marker works. And I would just give everything a little line because this is whimsical. It doesn't, it's not fine art. So having a line through your design is totally fine. But you see how that kind of makes it pop? You need that. You know, this is too plain. And so I like that. Is Dina on? I see Michelle telling you hi. Hello, sweet Dina. I swear I'm going to have to come to Kentucky to hug your neck because we, I feel like we're ships passing in the night. <laughs> and I just miss you, even though I watch you as much as I can. But okay, so all I would do is do another little round of green and it would be in a lighter green. So I would take that green that I'm using, add a little white to it, just a little bit of white. You can add just a little bit of yellow too, and come on top and just kind of tap, tap, tap. Okay. And then after that, I would start adding my colors, like there's a few little fall leaves up in that bush too. So I'm going to show you the one that I've done, and this is what we're going to do our glass art on. So here's how far we got. And so we got really close. We just lined the windows, line everything, you know. So let's do some glass. I have everything ready. If you're going to use resin, you've got to have gloves. So I suggest be sure that you have everything you need. Set it out. It's like a recipe. Have you ever baked something and you're like, you've got everything mixing in one, you know, pot and you're like mixing and all that. And you're like, oh, I need an egg. You know, let me get an egg. And you go to the fridge and there's no eggs. You need to have all your supplies sitting out and ready to go so that you don't 
like realize, oh, I don't have, an, you know, whatever. So you need gloves. You're going to need a couple of little cups. I'm going to, I use Art Resin Brand. It is, I'm not an affiliate. I just love it. I did research. I don't want to go through the whole spiel because um, I'm not really trying to teach. I don't have time to teach really well on this today. You can just kind of watch me. But um, I do really trust this brand. No BOCs, VOCs, BPAs. It's just, and that's initials for the really bad stuff that is in a lot of epoxy resin. So hardener, whatever I use hardener, I'm going to use the exact same amount of resin. And I've already marked my cups. I don't know if y'all can see the little black lines I put. Since these are clear, it's kind of hard to see with old eyes. So putting that line helps me to get these really just about perfect. And I really do want it to be perfect. You'll have a really good success if you'll kind of follow these little guidelines where you, you know, put the line and make sure it's really pretty perfect. Oh, Charlene, listen, that's okay. And I think that's smart because when you go to do it, you're going to be like, can somebody, Christy, I love you. Thank you. I hadn't, I, if I had seen you, I've already forgotten because I was like, I don't know if Christy's here. <sighs> I'm just very hurried today. Christy always has my time. She's amazing. She is a creator as well, although she doesn't have a page anymore because she is more retired, you know. She's doing it for fun. and But I have a feeling if you saw something you loved of hers, she would probably sell it to you. But both of her parents were artists, and so she's amazing. I have, I have in my group, my little private group, I have... Everybody, I have people who have never picked up a paintbrush and they joined to people who are better than me at what they do. So, you know, it's just a great, I love that, that, that you can learn from everybody and see how everybody does things. So I'm cupping this really well because it is a little chilly. Um, I like this to be, it does really well in a warm room. And, you know, most of us don't keep our houses warm. I mean, we like a little bit of air. So I'm cupping it in my hand really well and just slowly mixing. I don't want to, it's not, uh, we're not baking a cake, so you're not beating eggs. You're just slowly mixing. And that way you don't get too many bubbles. Um, what else? Do y'all have any questions? If I miss saying something to you or you ask me something, now's a good time because I have three solid minutes or a little less since I've started. But from the time I mix those together, I have three minutes that I'm going to stir. And because it's a little cold in here, you know, like I can feel the temperature is a little chilly. Um, I may do three and a half, but you don't want to go over that. If your resin is cold or, or you're doing this in the winter, you'd want to put these closed lids down into a pan of warm water, not hot water. So like don't boil it or anything, just warm water that you can get out of the sink. I'm not seeing comments. Somebody leave me a comment. Let me see if, if everything's okay. Because the last one I see is Chrissy says, I have your time. And then I see it in Artsy in Adventures Hearts, but I want to be sure everything's okay. I forgot to turn my camera around. I just saw my shirt. It's okay. Okay, good. Hi, Cynthia. How are y'all today? Testing. Thank you, Lori. It's all good. Okay. Thank you, Tamara. I'm so glad y'all are all here. <laughs> Hello. Okay, friends. I'm glad that everything's still working. You forgot what chili feels. Listen, I don't know what chili feels like outside, but in here, uh, let's see what we have. Uh, probably on 70. I bet our air is on 70 and it's chilly in here. You walk outside and it's 100 degrees. Oh, are they, Michelle? Well, I know um, 
for all of you creators who are watching, every one of my stats are in the red. They're all horrible. I mean horrible. Not just a little bad, but they're really bad. So I knew something was wrong with Facebook. So I ask if you're watching me and you enjoy what I do, would you check and see if your notifications are on, if you're still following me, if you have the chance to give it a like, would you do that? Because boy, things are rough. Oh, I know. I thought that, Cynthia, I thought, I bet he is tired because I'm sure he sleeps a lot. And I was thinking, you know, with company. Thank you, Christy. I knew you were going to put that. That's why I looked a second ago. I'm going to go just a second longer. Okay. So we're going to set this aside. And I've already got my glass pulled out. Um, I'm not using a whole lot of glass. You know, this is just a project that I wouldn't want to cover up the whole painting. There are some that I put a lot and some that I just don't put that much. But I'm just kind of setting it on top where I want it. Sorry that I'm sniffling. Oh, good. I'm glad you do, Cindy. If you go to my website, uh, you can sign up for email. You can see my telegram. You know, uh, I have a free tracer. I actually have a couple of free tracers on there right now. I give a tracer away every month. Um, you can get to anything you, you know, you'll I have a link to my Etsy store. So going to the website is a great place to, if you're wanting to know anything or find something, but you can always message me. I'm so accessible. I love to help people and kind of, you know, get them doing things like this. Okay. You'll see. Then I have, this is brown and champagne color for our little bush. Get back where you're supposed to be. So, you know, Sometimes I'm like, you know, you don't have to do a real super detailed painting if you're going to use glass and resin because it's going to cover a lot of it up. But I like to go ahead and show you the painting because some of you won't ever want to do resin. So I want to give you the painting so you can do that. These are, you guys, is it tiger, tiger eye or something? I forget what these stones are. I'd have to look. But I like using kind of natural elements, and I use a lot of quartz and things in my glass art. Always trying to find different, unique things that I don't see other people do, because so many are doing this now that you got to try to be different. And I just love it, though. So I think using pieces like this kind of give it a special, I've got one, I don't, I'm not going to have time, but you can't see it from where you are. That is so cool. It's got a lot of turquoise on it. It's very Texas looking. Okay, so there's our little walkway. Remember when I painted those little round rocks? So, you know, we're covering them up, but if you don't want to use resin, then that's why we did. Then I'm going to take my resin and I'm going to just drizzle it over these elements I just put, as long as you have a little bit of resin touching each piece of glass or rock or whatever you're using, it's not going to go anywhere. So, you know, once it cures, it's down. So that's the first thing I do is just make sure that it's all covering these glass pieces. And then after this, you can just kind of pour. Now, as far as amount of resin, I just know because I've done this long enough, but Art Resin, if you use this brand, they've got a calculator on their website, and it's just artresin.com, all one word, artresin.com. And they, you can put in, this is a 6 by 12, and you can plug that in, 
and they'll tell you how much to use. And I believe for this, they would tell you at least one ounce of each. I used a little bit less than an ounce of each. I used like 20 or 25. I used 25 cc's, which is just under an ounce. And, um, and I'll have plenty. I don't want mine running off the sides, so I use a little bit less, but if you, if you want to not worry about it and just, you can just pour over the sides as long as it's on something that can't, you know, it's like plastic or a trash bag under it that can catch it all. And then this will cure overnight. How are we doing on time? One minute. This will cure overnight. I'll cover it with something so that dust particles doesn't get in it. And tomorrow it will be so pretty and glassy. But do you see how even this tree looks now with the resin on it? That's why I love it. It just really makes it shiny and pretty. I'll just continue to spread this out, but I don't want to take away from our next presenter, Crafting on a Budget. Craft in on a budget. So please go watch her. Thank you so much for being here for me. I appreciate it. Tammy with Crafty Pete. Thank you. Be sure you're following her and I know you are. And CCC is the name of the group. You can see the next presenter after me. Guys, thank you. Watch for the picture. Have a great day. Bye-bye.